Hello everyone, welcome to day 9 of 30 days of iPhone programming. Now today we'll be learning about how to make a neon label. So this will be adding a glowing effect to labels to make them appear like they look more neon and just adds a cool effect to your labels if you want to add it. So go ahead and start a new project. I'm going to call this uh, neon label and create that. Now I'm gonna, the first thing you wanna do is drag in two files that I will have in the description for you. So um, I have them in this folder called Glowing Label, so I'm just gonna drag them into my project. Uh, this will be in the description if you wanna download it. Um, and you see them right here. Uh, there's not much to this. Uh, all it does is adds an effect in here that I don't need to go through to teach you because it's a little bit advanced. Um, and in here, all we're going to do, it's a really simple thing. Uh, we're just going to make a... Oh, we don't even need to declare it. If you don't want to declare it, that's fine. Um, if you actually, most of the time, you will want to, um, just to be able to change some of the settings on it. So uh, I'll just call this a text label. Um, you don't really need to declare it to in order to use it um, in the use the effect. But this is just what most people would do anyway. Um, I'm just gonna make this say hello, and go ahead into the viewcontroller.xib. I'm just gonna change this to 3.5, um, and drag in a label. Now we can make this bigger, uh, expand it out a little, just to so we can see it more easily. Uh, let me see. Put it in the middle. Bring up the size a little bit and we can connect the object from here, text label, uh, put this in the center. I'm going to add a black background just so we can see the effect better and just make the text white so we can at least, it won't be white when we build it, but just so we can see it more easily. Now this is the part where you actually, um, the important part you need to add in, in here you need to make the class glowing label and then go ahead and save that and build and run. And as you can see, we have hello printed in very nice green looking neon text. Um, I'm going to make this a little bigger just so we can see it more easily. Uh, put that in the middle. Change the text to something like 100. If it lets me. No, it doesn't. Uh, just bring it up a little. And if you wanted to change the actual look of this, uh, I'm just going to save this and make a new line in one second. Copy it, then paste it down here, and we can change the UI color. Let's make the inside color um, blue, make the outline color uh, red, and we can make the blur color white. So you can go ahead and mess around with these settings. Um, you can customize it to whatever you want, get whatever look you want, whatever you think looks best in your application. And here, this looks awful, but you can you get the idea of the effect and what you can do with this. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Thank you all for watching, and if you want to use this, go ahead and download the files in the description. Um, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all later. The source code for this project, as well as the code for all my other iPhone SDK tutorials, can be found on xcode.iminicrispy.com.